Hi everyone! So today I'm taking these paintings we did a few weeks ago and I am turning them into my own stickers. And I'm showing you how to do that too with just a few materials you probably already have at home. It's a pretty simple tutorial and I'm putting the stickers everywhere. I'm obsessed because they're my own paintings. How fun is that? So first is parchment paper or really any paper that's not going to be super adhesive. Uh, scissors to cut out your paintings and then some packaging tape. I got this super clear packaging tape because I wanted to be able to see the stickers really well with none of that fuzziness that sometimes packaging tape has. So in the previous video where we did these flowers, they were already in a grid, so that was kind of nice. I just kind of cut them out along the grid lines. And then as I was cutting them out, I kept it kind of rough following the basic shape of the flower that I had already painted and left maybe about a millimeter of the white around it. This doesn't have to be perfect or exact. When you cut them out, the whole effect is just so darn cute. It doesn't really matter. I just think when you cut out paintings, they just look so cute. Like, look at all of those. They just, they just look adorable. Cut out your paintings, all your little paintings you want to turn into stickers, set them aside, and you're going to get a piece of parchment paper. I didn't measure the parchment paper. I just kind of eyeballed the size I thought I needed. And then what you're going to do is you are going to put your packaging tape down, so sticky side down, onto the parchment paper. So you're just pretty much taping up the surface of your parchment paper. This side of the sticker is not as important because it's the bottom, but we want to keep it still looking nice. Just don't worry if it has wrinkles along the parchment paper because eventually we're going to peel the parchment paper off. And then I just made sure there was a slight overlap with the tape and then I smooth it down between each tape layer. I found that when I taped past the parchment paper and onto my table, it really helped keep everything in place so it wasn't sliding around. And I did five long pieces of tape across my parchment paper. Now we're going to put our little paintings down and pretty much you just wanna make sure that they don't go over the tape. So wherever you've got your tape boundary, uh, that the paintings don't go over that and that there's enough space between each of the paintings so that when you cut them out, they have a significant portion of the tape part um, all the way around the painting so that when you're sticking it, it sticks really well and the edges stay nice and clean and together. Because it's watercolor paper and it's thicker, uh, the tape ends up bulging a little bit more um, and so you want a significant amount of tape around each one. I'm just playing around with how everything fits so that they all have their own space, they have enough uh, room to cut everything out, and then I'm going to put the tape over the top. Pretty much the same way that I taped over the parchment paper, I am taping over these flowers. My trick was I started at the top putting a little piece of tape and then very carefully padded that piece of tape down so that none of the flowers went out of their spot and then I made sure to really get in there and rub the tape around each little area of the flower so that it was nice and secure and that there wasn't any bubbles and that everything was sticking. So now I peeled it off my work table and I'm going to cut each individual one out. I cut each piece out more roughly first to make sure there was enough space between each flower and then I'm pressing it down again just to make sure that everything is nice and secure around the flower and then I cut it out and I'm leaving a little bit of space around each flower but I'm doing it a lot more smooth not quite following every little bump and detail because you can't see the plastic sticker part once you have stuck it to something and so you don't need to be as detailed with cutting things out for this one so for example around the bigger flowers I just do a very simple curves around the sunflower I just did a total circle so again you don't really need to worry too much about that but it's really fun because the parchment paper acts as the backing of your sticker and when you're ready to use your sticker you'll just peel the parchment paper off and stick it to whatever you want now depending on the type of tape that you have it might stick better or worse and depending on the surface 
So I wouldn't put it on anything curved. I tried to stick it to a water bottle. It obviously didn't work. If you had a drawing or a painting on thinner paper, like if one of your children did a drawing and it was on, you know, copy paper, you could totally do some homemade stickers with their drawings and put them on their water bottle for school or they could draw their name or something like that. Anyway, I put some stickers on my planner, on my salt container, and I also added some to my traveling watercolor palette because why not? And it has these perfect little sections that fit the flowers perfectly. So it was calling for stickers <laughs> and I'm going out of town soon. So I thought it would be the perfect little thing to add and it will just make using the palette on vacation even that much more fun. And that is it. Thank you so much for being here today while we made these DIY stickers. I really love these. And now I'm looking through my stacks of watercolor and my kids' paintings and drawings. And I'm trying to figure out what other things I can make into stickers because now I'm obsessed and I need to put stickers on everything all over my house. So I hope you try this one out and I will see you all next time. Bye.